in subtopic 2.5, we are going to look at population ecology. In this subtopic, we are going to look at what is biotic potential, what is environmental resistance, what is carrying capacity, and also what is natality and mortality. So population ecology is basically, it is a study. We are studying what? We are studying the factors. Factors that will affect the population growth at a given time. So there are four factors that will affect population growth. Those are biotic potential, environmental resistance, carrying capacity, and also natality and mortality. So now let's look at what does it mean by each of these factors. Biotic potential, symbol SR, is the ability of the population to reproduce at maximum reproductive reach under optimal environmental conditions. Means that the environment that the population is living in is very good that the population able to reproduce as much as they can. So, if the biotic potential increase, the population is in a good environment. So if they are in a good environment, they will be able to reproduce at a maximum rate. So the population will increase. But if the biotic potential decrease, means that the population is living in a bad environment and they are unable to reproduce at maximum rate. So, the population growth will decrease. The second one is about environmental resistance. Resistance, halangan. Means halangan. So, halangan daripada persekitaran. Environmental resistance. So, it could be biotic or abiotic factors that limit the population growth. For example, we have resistance uh, from the biotic factors. The resistance could be from predation, prey predation, can be from competition between the same species or behavioral adaptation. Whether the organism, the animals, the uh, able to adapt to the environment or not. And then the abiotic factors could be about temperature, whether the temperature is too hot or too cold for the organism, whether the light is okay or not, whether the space is the space is enough to uh, give space for everyone. So this is the environmental uh, resistant example for environmental resistant. When the population grow. Okay, the food, uh, the food, the water, and also the space will run out. This will cause for the resources to be limited. So this one can cause for competition between the species. Other than limiting resources, when the population grow, the toxic waste will also increase. When the toxic waste increase, then diseases and parasite infection can also increase. So from this graph shows two parts. The first part here is the biotic potential where the population size grow very rapidly means that the population able to reproduce at maximum rate. As the population grow, then the environmental resistance will uh, exerted on the population. This will cause the population to stop growing. 
sebab dia orang punya resources limited, the space are limited, so they need to stop reproducing. Carrying capacity or symbol as capital K is the capacity that is able to be carried by the system. When the, uh, it means that the population size can reach its maximum that can be supported by the system. For example, if the carrying capacity only able to support 100 humans, means that the human population should be until 100 only. And this carrying capacity can uh, vary depends on these factors. If the population grows below the carrying capacity, as you can see in this graph here, the population will become stable. The population size will become stable, as you can see in this part, where the population size becomes stable. Why? Because the size of the population can still be supported by the system. So, means that this population will not have depletion of resources. But if the population grows above, exceeding the carrying capacity, as it shows in this graph, where the population grows above the carrying capacity, exceeding how uh, exceeding the how much the system can support the population that they, their resources will become depleted makanan tak cukup ruang tak ada and so on this will cause the population size to decrease because of the limited resources makanan tak cukup tempat tak ada so diorang punya population akan mati and menyebabkan population size to decrease. So, carrying capacity is important to limit for us to know what is the maximum size for the population. Okay, next and finally, we have is the natality and mortality. Natality means birth rate. And mortality means death rate. So, if the natality, the birth rate is much higher than the mortality, the population size will increase. But if the mortality, the death rate is much higher than the natality, then the population uh, growth will decrease. If the natality rate is equal with the mortality means that the population has become stable. This showing the relationship of natality and mortality with carrying capacity. If the population grows above carrying capacity, like the graph in here, the limiting resources will be depleted and resulting in mortality to uh, increase higher than natality. So, means that lots of death rate. When death rate increase, the population uh, will decrease. Thus, it, they will return to normal population size. But if the population is below the carrying capacity, as in this graph, the limiting resources, all of the resources is available, causing for the natality rate to, has it to become higher than mortality, thus increasing the population size. So, and then the population size will become back to normal, reaching normal. That is below the carrying capacity. 
and these are the four factors that affect the population growth.